Hi guys, we're here at the sidelines with the future of UAE cricket. Two stylish left-handed opening batsmen. I've got with me Aryan Lakra, who was the under-19 captain for UAE. And Jonathan Figgy, who's played under Aryan Lakra's captaincy. He's not playing for Abu Dhabi today. Stylish left-handed batsman. So we'll start with the senior statesman here, Jonathan Figgy, having represented UAE in two ODI games as well. Jonathan, how are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. It's uh, The weather's obviously quite hot, but yeah, enjoying enjoying the game. Yeah. Well, are you not playing today because of the weather or is it because you just wanted to get into a little bit of rhythm outside in the nets? No, no, no. Honestly, I've, I've just dislocated my finger yesterday uh, while fielding. So, unfortunately, I'm going to miss this game today. So, hopefully, I'll recover for the next game. Yeah. Well, you compete with Aryan for that top spot. And you've played under the captaincy of both Aryan and Ahmad Raza. Trick question here. Who's the better captain? I feel like if I answer that, I'll probably be in trouble. So I'm just going to say both of them. Uh, no, but obviously different styles. Uh, both great, great people to be uh, led by. And it's obviously, it was great uh, having La- uh, Lakra as my captain in, during the Under-19 World Cup. We have obviously had a good campaign. It was a good experience. And obviously playing under Ahmed Bai's captaincy for the men's side was also a great experience for me. So you've scored an, an international 100 against Canada. Just give us a feeling. How did that feel scoring that triple figure mark? It's not a small thing. Yeah, even even if you ask me to describe my innings today, I'll I'll struggle to even put words to it. It's uh, obviously a great great moment scoring a hundred at a World Cup. Things you normally only dream and not do, but to even do that is is just an amazing feeling. And to do that for for UA under nineteen and and you know ultimately get the win, I think that that was amazing. You know, yeah. Uh, well, years down the road, you'll realize, oh, I've scored a hundred in a World Cup and the first one to do it. So it's it's obviously an amazing feeling and and great to do that for the country. All right, I'll give you a break. Let's switch strikes and get to Mr. Aryan Lakra. Aryan, how are you feeling, man? Hi, Abdul. Thanks for having me. And I think, yeah, same thing as Figgy said. It's hot, but uh, we are surviving and hopefully we win the game today. Well, you're not playing today as well. Um, disappointed to miss out today and disappointed with your batting in the past few games? Uh, not really. As I think many people say, cricket's a funny game and uh, playing for Pujara, it's a very competitive side. So you need to be on the top of your game all the time. But a couple of bad games, that's fine. It happens to the best of us. So, just going to go back. We have a long break coming up now. Just going to hit a few balls and hopefully get some runs in the second half of the tournament. So, give us an idea of leading a team in a tournament like the Under-19 World Cup. You know, it's a huge honour. And I'm sure you must be thinking that international debut of yours is oh, just a few games away. How does that feel leading that team in, you know, onto the ground? Uh, I think, yeah, first of all, it was a great honour leading our country in our Under-19 World Cup and it was just our second World Cup. So, I think playing a World Cup was a great experience. It's a whole another level of cricket, whether it's the media, the security, the people around you. So, there was a lot of great learning, met a lot of great international players, learnt a lot from them. And all in all, it was a very good experience. All right. Now, we know for a fact that you're an Instagram sensation because of the way you got out in a domestic game. Run us through that a little bit, please. We want the people to know what just happened. Actually, uh, today itself, we were discussing it in the dressing room that that video goes viral every three, four weeks. So, basically, what happened, we were playing a UA under-19 game against the touring side. And the ball before that, I had just hit a boundary. And what the game dictates, that best thing to do after you hit a boundary is just take a single get-off strike. So, that's what I wanted to do. And I tried to guide it down to third man for a single, but I missed it and I was disappointed by that. So, I just threw my bat up in the air, but there was strong wind and the bat moved away from my hands and unfortunately, I couldn't catch it. So, you were uh, described as hit wicket in that knock? Uh, definitely, a yeah, hit wicket. But uh, it was good clout. I think the video has about more than 6-7 million views at the moment and it's increasing every day. Well, great to see you becoming an Instagram sensation. There is a career after cricket for you as well. Let's switch back to Jonathan. Now, this tournament, local cricket, I know you uh, you play in Abu Dhabi, but coming here to Dubai, playing against all these people, how does that feel? Yeah, I think it's obviously great. You know, this is a domestic competition. So, if you want to do, you have to do well in order to get called up to, to be part of the UAE camp. So, you know, this is basically one step below international cricket. So, you you know, this is a whole different ball game. You know, you're playing good quality cricket against good quality opponents. So, you have to be, you know, at the top of your game, you have to be constantly practicing and prepare and you need to prepare well if you want to do well. So, yeah, this is a good experience for a lot of us uh, who, are, who don't really play that, that often cricket. So, 
you know it's about us trying to take this as a learning experience and move on and you know improve in the further tournaments in the in the coming years well, we wish you all the best get well soon cuz we want to see you back what do you think is going to happen today um hopefully uh, abu dhabi win that that would be great but i think yeah so far we've been putting pressure on them the uh, both the batsmen have been looking a bit unsettled there so you know a couple of early wickets like like arin said it's a funny game you never know what's going to happen so you know it's about just putting pressure and trying to take wicket here or there but thank you jonathan and switching back to aryan really quickly aryan you've played all the tournaments that have happened here what's your favorite format d10 d20 or this one uh, i think uh, everyone thinks d50 should be my favorite format but recently i've scored a bulk of runs in t20 so i've been really enjoying t20 cricket right now so i'm really looking forward to d20 coming up soon yeah that's a good point unlike jonathan um you've been playing a lot of domestic cricket as well so you're hoping that form translates into something big here uh yeah definitely i think um, you shouldn't get complacent i had a lot of runs in domestic recently and i tried to continue from there but this is a different conditions here so you start from scratch here and just take your time and build your knock so i think that's what our players are doing really well today and hopefully if wasim and hamdan continue we'll get over the line well thanks a lot man wish you all the best